everyone. Welcome to the Identity Security Solution Show, the one place where you're going to get the latest and greatest on the SailPoint product portfolio. I'm Jashi Subramanya, and joining me today is Anshal Dubey, a Senior Manager of Product Management. Anshal, thank you so much for joining me. Super excited about our conversation. And our topic today is SailPoint Identity IQ. As you all know, Identity IQ has been addressing the identity governance needs of some of the largest and most complex organizations around the globe for more than a decade, close to two decades, right, Anshul? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, Anshul, let's get into it, right? Let's start with success of IIQ, Identity IQ. What are some of the key capabilities in Identity IQ that customers should really be excited about today? Yeah, sure. So, Jeshri, the Identity IQ 8.4 release uh, just went out at the end of September of last year. And that release was all about data intelligence, where we added functionalities such as access history and data extract. So access history, that's going to allow our customers to go in, look up an identity, and see how that person's access has changed over time. You know, what are all the roles and entitlements that have been added, removed? It essentially is going to help answer the who, the what, when, and why. And on top of that, actually, customers can export that data right there from the UI. Mm -hmm. So, you know, auditors are asking them all the time, hey, what happened to this person on this date? So they can easily pull that up and export it. The second big piece, which is an extremely powerful feature with 8.4, is data extract. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way that one's going to work is it's going to allow customers to select whatever data they want to extract from the Identity IQ database. They can schedule a task, like how often you want to pull this data? Is it every week, every hour, whatever it may be? And then put that data into a data lake of you know, customer's choice on-prem in the cloud. And then our customers already have BI tools like Tableau, Power BI, and then they can pretty much tie that and do ad hoc reporting, right? So slice and dice the data however you want so you can see how that's extremely powerful. That's awesome, right? And so SailPoint, as we know, recognizes that organizations want a choice because they have different strategic plans and the needs for the identity governance programs. You know, I had a conversation with Grady Summers earlier and he spoke about our portfolio identity security cloud. And of course, this one that you're talking about is our on-prem solution, right? So what is your view on on-prem and our SaaS offerings? Yeah, so what is my view on on-prem versus SaaS? Um, so look, the reality is the future is headed towards SaaS, right? Or maybe we're already actually there. But the other part of reality is there are many organizations that still require the need for an on-prem solution, such as Identity IQ. We have extremely large and complex customers that you touched on earlier. They need that flexibility. They need that customization to be able to uh, handle their workflows, their processes to meet their business needs when it comes to the identity governance space. So, you know, I get, yes, SaaS is going forward, but uh, I don't think the on-prem solution option is going to go away overnight. We're, we're, we're still there. Um, I also love to remind customers, you can actually deploy Identity IQ in the cloud today. So you can deploy in Azure, AWS, Google Cloud, and we have customers doing this today actually, so quite successfully. So you know, you yeah. can still reap some of the benefits of cloud. There are multiple options that we provide yeah. customers based on where they are in their journey and what they want, right? So that's fantastic. And so let's talk about AI and ML. What does AI and ML look like today on the IIQ portfolio? Yeah, sure. So just to take a step back real quick. So, you know, AI historically a sale point, we've always kind of treated it as a separate product, mm -hmm. which of course integrates with IC, Identity Security Cloud, and Identity IQ. But we quickly realized that, you know, we needed to bring some clarity to our yeah. customers of here's all the features and here's the features that work with IC and what works with Identity IQ. So we've solved that problem now, thanks to your team actually. We threw a, a documentation on Compass, which lays out all the features and here's here's which core products it works with. So mm -hmm. that's at least cleared up. But going forward, we've kind of separated the roadmaps, you know, individual roadmaps for IC and Identity IQ. And of course, we're a SaaS driven company, so IC is going to be moving much quicker with some of the AI capabilities. Um, they're going to have more features than we will on Identity IQ. But that does not mean that Identity IQ is going to be missing out. We have a pretty strong roadmap of things we want to accomplish with AI. And if you don't mind, I would love to share a couple of those. Yeah, I would love to know, you know, what are you most excited about yeah. in terms of what's coming up? And let's sort of share a sneak peek of, sure. you know, what customers <laughs> can expect. Yeah, sure. Uh, so 
uh, one of the problems that we would love to solve is you know automating processes we hear from our customers all the time they're overwhelmed with the millions of entitlements that they have to manage so we can bring in generative AI to kind of help uh, with uh, suggesting descriptions for these entitlements. That's going to be a huge time saver and alleviate some of that burden from, from the admin side of things. Outside of that, we would love to reduce risk. How? We would love to leverage activity data. If I haven't logged into an application in over six months, let's revoke my access. That's fair. Right? And also with AI outliers, let's help detect risky access, uh, meaning maybe I'm an outlier uh, where I my access looks a little bit different than everybody else's on my team, but maybe that's okay. So let's have AI call that out and be proactive. And then the manager or whoever needs to decide like, okay, let's leave Anshul's access in place or nope, we need to revoke it, right? So those are some of the cool functionalities that we are still considering for Identity IQ. Okay, that's excellent, right? How does the long-term future hold for Identity IQ? Yeah, so again, 8.4 just went out the door end of September. 8.4 P1 is also out. I know a lot of customers are anxiously waiting for that patch. Uh, so we're really looking forward to customers upgrading and uh, giving us feedback on these uh, new features. But as far as the future, one thing I definitely want to highlight is UX, user experience. Uh, that's a major theme you're going to see, not just in 8.5, but even releases beyond that. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're, we want to make things easier and more intuitive. We want to modernize some of the older pages uh, and want to make life easier, not just for the end users, but also for the admins. And accessibility is also that comes into play there, right? We need to check that box of as we add new functionality, let's make sure we're, we're adding all those requirements. But kind of back to like what's, what's coming next. Uh, so 8.5 is our next major release and user experience, right? I just touched on, that's, that's really key for us. And actually one thing I forgot to mention is the evolution of Identity IQ. If, if you looked at Identity IQ 10 years ago, mm -hmm. it was looked at just as an IT tool. But today, not anymore. right, not anymore. It's a business tool. We, we have business users participating in the identity governance space, so, which is what's kind of driving a lot of this user experience focus. So with 8.5, we are going to be building on our Microsoft Teams integration. Okay, that's good. Yeah, and uh, the whole uh, goal there is instead of an uh, end user going into Identity IQ, we will bring Identity IQ to the end user where they can take care of access request approvals in Teams. So that's one. And then another hot topic on AHA is a search, where customers want to be able to use contains for search. They want to uh, have their filtering be persistent, right? Sticky sessions. So there's a lot of different areas around user experience. And then one last thing I'll mention is also restricting sensitive attributes. Mm. So our customers need to be able to control what attributes, sensitive ones, appear in the UI and who can see what. So just having that extra control. There's lots of exciting yeah. things yeah. coming up, right? So as you could see, it's clear SavePoint is committed to continue to invest in identity and IQ. So Anshul, thank you so much. Thanks everyone for tuning in. To learn more about SavePoint, our product portfolio, IIQ and Identity Security Cloud, and listen to more such shows, join us at SavePoint.com. Thank you.